What are uh, what are your favourite tracks? Um, I think one that jumps out to me is a song like I, a song like no other. I've never heard anything like this and still haven't to this day, and that's Parsec. Mm. So one thing that's really really interesting about this song is that it was used recently or in the two, early 2000s for the launch of the new Volkswagen Beetle. So obviously the Volkswagen Beetle is kind of synonymous with the hippie movement of the 60s and, and flower power. And the tagline for this advert was less flower, more power. And I think it's so interesting that the advert or the marketing department for Volkswagen literally seemed to position Stereolab as this bridge between the future um, and then the past, or the 1960s in this case. Hmm. I think it's like a really good metaphor for the album as well, because this album, in a way, it is half 60s, flowery pop, and the other half is this really futurized, motor, motorized, um, kind of space-infused thing that we've already talked about. So I can't really remember a time that I've heard a song on an advert and been like, wow, that is so perfectly <laughs> conveying what, they, uh, you know, what they're trying to get out with this product. Um, the other thing about that song as well is that you know, we talk about Pro Tools and the, the techniques and the, you know, that they were using on this album, what kind of new things that afforded them. When you listen to this track and that jungle-influenced mm. kind of breakbeat drum track, that is a perfect example of when Pro Tools is giving them, to, you know, giving them, allowing them to do things that they just simply wouldn't have been able to do uh, if they were recording straight to analog. It's a massive U-turn in the record as a whole, I think. So you're kind of drifting along yeah. quite nicely with all this lounge music, and then suddenly you kind of go, "Whoa, what the fuck is this?" Like, yeah, is this, this is like a Goldie track in the middle of think, this record. Yeah. I, I reckon you could get away with dropping that at the right moment in a club or you know at a party I think I think it would sh- kind of fucking shock people a little bit yeah. but it's got there's something about it that just makes you want to move and as you say it's it's basically like a kind of their take on a drum and bass track really yeah I mean, if, uh, if someone if, as you say it has to be at the right moment but if that if that did get dropped at the right moment and, and I was there it would be the kind of thing that like you remember that moment for the rest of your life yeah and yeah yeah you want to talk about like dance floor moments that you will <laughs> change your opinion of things that would be one if someone could successfully pull that off I would I would love it beyond belief well, I reckon it'd be an absolute nightmare to mix because it's in 5-4 time signature isn't it like yeah oh, you, I, mean, that I would didn't be, even think about that aspect yeah. that's probably <laughs> beyond big old B2B little J level you'd probably have to be yeah, I was going to say I, I was, yeah I was going to say if someone's going to do it it's probably not going to be us but I'd let this be a challenge to all the actually decent DJs out there. If you can mix in from the actual vinyl this track, then like you know, have like a beer, have a beer on death of the record. 